Hey, what's up everyone? Bonato Max here. Today we're doing our game of the year prediction slash what I'm voting for. So guys, I want to let you know right off of the hand of the video, you're going to see quality change. I had to switch cameras, switch laptops, everything. I had to move over to my older laptop because I had some technical difficulties at the time of recording this with my newer laptop. So, like I said, quality change, and uh, yeah, enjoy the vid. All right, here we are, guys. Game Awards, we're gonna go through every category with my best knowledge. If I haven't played something from that category, then we're gonna skip that category. So here we are with eSport teams. I don't watch eSports, so I'm gonna skip on that one. I hope all you guys are good with that. Best eSports host, <laughs> uh, same thing. I don't watch eSports, so I'm gonna skip out on that. Best esports game. Even though I don't watch this, I'm gonna go ahead and vote uh, Fortnite. <laughs> like we can all clown on Fortnite, and I agree. I really don't like it myself anymore. But the game has so much content, and still continues to add content. And I don't know. I just think I enjoy. I've actually watched some of the uh, Keemstar Fortnite tournaments. I watched those and I was entertained. Everything else I wasn't entertained. So we're gonna go ahead and vote for Fortnite. Best esports event. Is Evo on here? Where the crap wait, Evo didn't happen this year, right? I don't remember. Uh esports coach, don't know anything about that. Athlete, I don't yeah. Best debut game. Uh I played none of these, so I'm going to skip that category. Content Creator of the Year. Okay, I want to talk about this a little bit. All these content creators, I just want to say I have no nothing wrong with these content creators. I'm glad they're nominated, but there seems to be sort of a biased type of thing with whoever picks this stuff towards Twitch streamers. There's no like gaming gaming content creators you know what i mean from a youtube standpoint all of this is really streamers and i'm not saying content creation isn't streaming like i'm not saying that like i don't <laughs> this should be streamer or uh, the best streamer of the year award in my opinion i think they should separate those two and uh, I'm, I'm hoping going forward with next year hopefully uh the game awards guy jeff will be watching this video uh like like i i get what you're trying to do but i feel like you should make two new awards streamer of the year content creator of the year that's just me because i mean like there's so many people in this part of the video or this part of the content creation award nomination like scott the waz that that guy should be in here come on that guy has put in so much work but um i'm gonna go with I'm gonna go <laughs> okay moving on uh, best multiplayer game all right now we're starting to dig into stuff I played played Warzone wasn't me it's not me type of game Animal Crossing New Horizons has the worst multiplayer I've ever seen in my life in terms of an Animal Crossing game Animal Crossing New Leaf devours New Horizons and I hope with future updates they actually make the online multiplayer for New Horizons good like it works fine but there's nothing to do except explore your island. New Isle or New Leaf had so many things you could do, like mini games, for example. Among Us, even though, oh, sorry guys, even though Among Us came out 2018, I don't know how it got nominated. I guess just because of recognition and all that. Among Us is a great multiplayer game. Like it's mean that it's like I know it's now considered like a meme game. But we, we can't deny it's a good multiplayer game. You can play with 10 people. That That's a good multiplayer game. Fall Guys, I didn't play with my friends, so I don't know if that multiplayer experience is great. I'm going to go with Among Us. Just because, again, I have so many funny memories playing Among Us with my friends. And just overall, that is a multiplayer game. Best sports title. Uh, I'm going to go with Tony Hawk Pro Skater. Even though I didn't play that... I know a lot of people that would be mad if I didn't vote for this game. So, it's for you guys. Strategy game. I didn't play any of these strategy games. I'm going up. Best family game. Okay. This is where the Animal Crossing vote would make sense. I'm going to go with Animal Crossing, but let's look over our options here. 
Mario Kart Live would be a great family game, except you need to pay $200 to access that multiplayer. But you can only do two players. Paper Mario, doesn't Paper Mario have one player? Minecraft Dungeons, I didn't touch that, but I think you can do four players on that. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. That would seem like a good family game. Crash Bandicoot 4. No, Crash Bandicoot, it's not a good family game. I mean, it's a great game overall, but no. I'm going to have to go with Animal Crossing New Horizons. Even though, again, that's not like a family game, but like the whole family could play it and it'd still be great. So, yeah. Best fighting game, I got to go with Mortal Kombat 11. Love Mortal Kombat 11, especially with all the guest characters that they're doing. Love it. All right, so I didn't play Persona 5 Real, but wait, what the crap? I just, okay, we just earned a badge. All right. <laughs> Okay, I'll take it, I guess. All right, so I'm going to go with Persona 5 Royale with best role-playing game. Unfortunately, uh, the Game Awards, for whatever reason, I don't know. It just seems like games like Persona 5 Royale, Xenoblade, they seem to really exclude it. Like, I'm surprised there's not many more Persona 5 Royale nominations. Or even, there's not even a Xenoblade nomination this year. It wasn't a Xenoblade nomination when they did Xenoblade 2. So I don't know what the problem is, why they are excluding some of these games. But I played Persona 5, the regular edition. I love it, one of my favorite games now. And I know Persona 5 Royale, I would love. So I am kind of cheating, I guess, by voting this. But I, at the same time, I kind of played it. <laughs> kind of. Best Action Adventure. Wait, why isn't Doom Eternal on here? That is an action game. What is... What? Okay, all right, so the games I played on here is Star Wars, Last of Us 2, and that's it. So I'm going to have to pick between Star Wars and Last of Us Part 2. As much as I hate Last of Us 2, in terms of an action standpoint, I was more entertained in, I guess, adventure. I was more entertained with Last of Us 2. It hates me to do this with Star Wars Jedi, Fallen Order. I love that game. But I really feel like it's overrated, if I'm being honest. There's better games, in my opinion, than Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. It hurts me to pick Last of Us 2. It really does. But I'm going to have to go with Last of Us 2. I'm sure if I would have played Ghost of Tsushima, I would have voted that or Miles Morales. But, uh, oh, okay, I was about to say, <laughs> whoa. Streets of Rage 4 is on here? W wouldn't that, well, no, never mind. I've played Street Rage 4, I have played Doom Eternal. My friends are going to kill me for this, but Doom Eternal makes sense, dude. I played Streets of Rage 4, I got a good hour or two in it. And, I mean, I'm not saying I don't enjoy it, but from an action standpoint, Doom Eternal deserves this reward. It better action game in. Yeah, I feel like... What is this innovation in accessibility? Recognizing software that is pushing the medium for oh, okay To help games be played and enjoy how did last of us 2 do that am I missing something? Adding a feature Interesting knowledge. Am I missing something how is last of us part 2 a part of this? Okay, um Maybe I'm like dumb as crap right now, but I'm confused if what last of us part 2 did I'm not hating on the game, but if, if anyone's watching this video, could you please tell me what they mean by having Last of Us 2 part of this? I'm not voting on here because I'm a little bit confused by that. Again, apologize on my end. Confused over there. Sorry, guys. I'm going to skip that just because I don't know what I'm talking about over there. All right. Best VR game. Okay, I'm actually pretty excited for this. Played some Dreams. I played Iron Man VR, and I... I haven't, I don't own Walking Dead Saint Sinners, but I've played it at a friend's house. In my opinion, out of all these options for VR games, I gotta go with my boy Iron Man. I loved Iron Man VR. I had doubts going into Iron Man VR that it would be garbage, and I was amazed. This was a really good VR game. Best community support, I gotta go with Fortnite. Fortnite's updates are legit. I mean, you have... New seasons, new skins, like the community support for that is great. So, I mean, sorry, I gotta go with that. Best mobile game. 
out of all these that I played was Among Us on mobile, so I'm gonna go with Among Us. Uh, I never played Pokemon Cafe Mix, so <laughs> sorry. Best indie game. Uh, so if I played Hades, I probably would have voted Hades, but the only one I played out of this list was Fall Guys, and what Fall Guys managed to do as an indie game is quite incredible. So I, I'm going to vote Fall Guys. Best ongoing, I got to go with Fortnite again. Uh, I, I'm glad to see No Man's Sky, though, is still like doing their ongoing updates. Uh, I don't own that game, but uh, I hear when that game launched, it was garbage. But now it's actually a good game. Games for Impact. I unfortunately did not play any of these. I really wanted to play Tell Me Why, though. Best performance. Wow. No Troy Baker? Really? Okay. I gotta go with Ashley Johnson. Uh, I was expecting Troy Baker to get nominated, and I was expecting Ashley Johnson to get nominated. So it was gonna be a really hard pick for me to decide with those two. I see Laura Bailey is nominated two times in a row. Last year she was nominated for her Gears of War performance. I gotta go with Ashley Johnson. I mean, she delivered the character Ellie very well this year with Last of Us 2. Just a lot of those scenes with but both Laura Bailey and uh, Ashley Johnson did a great job. But Ashley Johnson, for me, did it. She delivered on so many performances. Like, spoiler alert, the whole Joel scene. I mean, she delivered that crazy and just scenes throughout the game. She smashed it as Ellie, and this goes for all her previous roles and... Even, I mean, the last Last of Us, she, she smashed it. Hope she gets the award. And I, I wouldn't be mad if the Miles Morales actor wins, because he's a good actor, too. I didn't play the game, but I did play the uh, Spider-Man. Best audio design. Okay, I, I think I'm going to go with Last of Us Part 2 on here. I played Doom Eternal and Last of Us Part 2 out of this list. But Last of Us 2 audio is actually really good. Like, I feel some of the audio... I played with the headset, so that's a really good headset. Or the uh, PlayStation headset, gold, whatever it's called. So I would have to go with that. Best score in music. So people are going to be mad at me if I don't pick Doom Eternal, but if I'm being honest, I really don't like that type of music for Doom, so I'm going to have to not vote for that. Final Fantasy VII Remake has some good music. Uh, I've heard the soundtrack for Ori. It was interesting. I've not actually heard anything for Hades. But I gotta go with Last of Us Part 2. Both Last of Us soundtracks are incredible. And um, that, that's the only compliment you're gonna really see me give Last of Us Part 2 is the soundtrack. I mean, there's a couple compliments I can give it. The voice act. Doesn't matter. That, what, watch my Last of Us video. Best art direction. Man, I wish I could vote for Hades. I like the art direction they're going with Hades, but I didn't play it, so I, I, can I vote for that? I can only vote for Last of Us and Final Fantasy VII. Or technical achievement. Actually, Final Fantasy, both Final Fantasy and Last of Us from an art direction did really good. All these games from an art direction did amazing. Actually, Ori probably has the best art direction, though. But I can't vote for that since I didn't play it. So, I'm actually going to go with Final Fantasy VII Remake on that. Best narrative from an outside... <laughs> Definitely not Last of Us 2. We can cut that out of... That... <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm going to get so many dislikes with that. It's going to be, This guy's hating on Last of Us 2 a lot. Sorry. Uh, I'm going to go with Final Fantasy VII Remake. I wish I would have played Ghost of Tsushima. I bet I would have picked that. Best Game Direction. From a creative vision and game direction and design. Hmm. I mean, couldn't all these games be best game direction? Because all the directors, all of that, they probably got their vision made since it's out. I mean, uh, I, I get what the award is. I'm sorry. I'm, this is a hard pick because I know technically all of these games are the best game direction. If we're looking from a director standpoint, because they got their dream out. I mean, that's that's a difficult pick. Uh, I guess from a game direction point, even though I don't like the game that much. 
Uh, I mean, uh, there's some parts that I like in terms of level design, action, the voice acting. I would go with Last of Us Part 2 on that. Alright, so here we are at Game of the Year. So we're, I'm going to give you an in-depth look at my point of view of some of these titles because there's two out of the six I've not played. So Last of Us 2, I'm going to go ahead and say no. No Last of Us 2. I, I don't like that game. You can look at my video and you'll see why and how I feel about that game. But that's going to have to be a big no-no for me. Animal Crossing New Horizons. Animal Crossing New Horizons is a great game. I love it. All that. Great title. Came at the perfect time of the year. Especially with all of us in our houses and everything. But from a game storytelling point Animal Crossing was not that. And when I'm looking at Game of the Years, I'm looking at a storytelling experience. That's why I picked Death Stranding over Smash Bros. Ultimate last year. Now, Hades and Ghost of Tsushima, I did not play. If I, I really wish I would have played those. Now, these are our final two. Doom Eternal and Final Fantasy VII Remake. I had fun with Doom Eternal, but I never finished the game. I was up to level 8. I enjoyed a great level experience. The level design, the enemies were great. Very difficult game. I enjoyed that game. Very fun game. But, again, I'm looking at it as a storytelling experience. And Doom Eternal has that storytelling experience. But, for me... The best storytelling experience out of all these games had to have been Final Fantasy VII Remake. I know a lot of people are going to be disappointed in me for picking that. And I want to go say off the record, I do not believe Final Fantasy VII Remake is going to win. I don't think Doom Eternal is going to win. And if votes actually matter, then maybe Animal Crossing will win. But I think the game that's actually going to win is either Ghost of Tsushima or The Last of Us Part 2. So, yeah. But Final Fantasy VII Remake, it was my favorite game of this year. It deli I actually had low expectations for that game. It over exceeded my expectations because I went in with low expectations. I enjoyed the game. It was a game I always wanted to play, the original. And I know this game's very different from the original now. But I love the remake. I love the voice acting. The game was beautiful. I loved everything about it from a story standpoint. Everything was great about Final Fantasy VII Remake. All right, everyone, that's the end of the video. I know a lot of people are gonna disagree with me going ahead and picking Final Fantasy VII Remake, but uh, let me know what you guys are voting for for the game of the year. Me personally, I know I'm told you already in the video, but Final Fantasy VII is what I'm voting for. And I, I believe Last of Us 2 or Ghost of Tsushima will be the one that wins this year's Game Awards. So guys, I want you to make sure that you check out our Discord server. Like, you legit need to join. You have to join. Like, bro, bro. I'm telling you now, it is hype. Uh, make sure to follow me on Twitter. Backslash that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.